most okay. please please i literally just want help with everything i'm drunk as fuck right now i'm like lost in my fucking life right now right now in the name of jesus i command every unclean spirit of depression and anxiety to go right now you manifest and go right now come up and out come up and out come up and out every demon under the sun so i'm gifted with a gift i guess that god gave me because the pastor told me a long time ago that i was gifted with seeing the dead so my house is somewhat haunted like when i see like lost spirits or whatever they're called i literally see them in my room and i have proof of it on my phone like figures of them what's gonna happen what's up <laughs> what you doing on here Uh, nothing. <laughs> nothing much. So uh, let me ask you a question really quick. So I'm on your recording and I'm praying for people for supernatural healing and God heals people, bro. I'm telling you, do you have any physical pain in your body I could pray for right now that you can get healed from? Not physical, but emotional, yes. I have a lot of trust issues and I feel like I'm, no I'm going nowhere with life, especially with love. Okay. You believe in Jesus? Yes. Okay. So... Do you, do you pray? Do you spend time praying? You read the word? Are you filling your spirit up with good things? I do none of that but pray, like at night. So that's the thing. If you're not filling your mind with like godly things, like sermons, godly sermons, the Bible, going to church, like you're gonna, the devil's gonna put his own thoughts on you and he's gonna mess you up mentally. You know what I'm saying? I get that, honestly. But we just don't go to church anymore. And I, I don't know why, but we just don't. Yeah, I mean, the flesh, the flesh does not want you to go to church. I have the flesh too. Like a lot, a lot of times I don't feel like going and sometimes I even miss it. And that's my fault, which I, I don't believe we should miss church, but we got to do what our spirit wants to do, the Holy Spirit and go to church and read the Bible because our flesh is going to want to do things of the flesh and our spirit's going to want to do things of the spirit, like read, pray, go to church, pray for people, evangelize. That's what the spirit wants to do. So we got to give into the spirit and the more you give in, the stronger it gets and the more you can do it period you know yeah but um yeah do you do you are you, you struggling with anxiety or depression or anything like that yeah i'm medicated with depression well let me ask you a question if would you want to be set free yes because i could i could totally pray for you right now and we could see what god does yes okay. most please please i literally just want help with everything i'm drunk as fuck right now i'm like lost in my fucking life right now okay well you mind if i pray prayer for you take a few minutes oh yeah hell yeah all right so just just you you have anxiety depression stuff like that yeah. so just say i renounce depression i renounce anxiety i renounce depression i renounce anxiety so i'm gonna pray now okay so right now, in the name of Jesus, I command every unclean spirit of depression and anxiety to go right now. You manifest and go right now. Come up and out. Come up and out. Come up and out. Every demon under the sound of my voice has to leave right now in Jesus' name. You have to go to the pit right now. I pray fire, head to toe, and arrest. Come out. Come out. Come out right now. Every demon that's in afflicting her, you leave now in Jesus' name. You have to go where the Lord's sending you. You come out in Jesus' name. Come out. Come out right now. Every demon under the sound of my voice, you leave right now. Manifest and go. Come out. Come out. Anxiety, depression, suicide, leave now in Jesus' name. Every demon's leaving right now. You have to go. I command every heaviness and burden to lift off you now. Every weight to lift off you in Jesus' name. I pray peace on your mind, peace in your spirit. Every demon, you go now. Out in Jesus' name. Out in Jesus' name. Every demon's leaving, afflicting her mind, tormenting her, causing non-trust issues. You gotta go. Or trust issues. You gotta go in Jesus' name. Come out. Come out. Every tormenting spirit attacking her mind, you leave now in Jesus' name. Go. 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 Every spirit causing her not to go to church and not to spend time with God. You leave now in Jesus name. Come out. Come out. Come out. Come out. I rip every demon out now in Jesus name. How do you feel? Damn. I feel like a fuck. Damn. You feel that what? Was a lot. You felt <laughs> a bunch of stuff? Yeah, like so much emotion. Listen, I encourage you not to drink anymore because drinking is like the devil's playground. And the Bible says not to get drunk with wine or get drunk at all because it leads to hell, long story short. So I just recommend not drinking anymore, okay? But, um, you know, if you felt touched by God, that's good. I just, just keep pursuing God, you know? And again, when you pursue the spirit, the things, sinful things won't be as desirable anymore. You know what I'm saying? 
Yeah. Basically, yeah. But, uh, I mean, that's pretty much it, you know? That was a whole change right there. You felt the change? Literally, that was fucking weird. Cause, so, I'm gifted with a gift, I guess, that God gave me. Because the pastor told me a long time ago that I was gifted with seeing the dead. So, my house is somewhat haunted, I guess. So, sometimes when I see, like, lost spirits or whatever they're called... I literally see them in my room and I have proof of it on my phone, like figures of them. Do you mess with Ouija boards or seances or anything like that? None of that? Never have. I just have always been seeing them. What, since you were little? Yep. Okay, well, if that's a gift from God, then you got to pray about that. You see things, you pray against it. If you do see demons, pray against them, you know? So I tried to, but I always feel bad like what if they're nothing bad what if they just became something worse no 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 they're bad they don't even give into that they're all bad every spirit is bad except the holy spirit so that's pretty much it don't how do you know if the spirits are bad if they're walking around though because demons walk around they're 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 in hell they're on the earth they walk around you know if you see an angel that's angel from god and a demon is obviously a demon (laughs) i don't know i just don't, don't mess around with that. Don't talk to them. And, you know, I would ask God if, like, say, if this is from you, if this ability is from you, then cool. If it, or, or help me use it wisely. If this, is, if this seeing demons is not from you, I command it to go and just ask God to take it away. Because it's either from God or not from God. I don't know. You got to pray about that, you know? This is the soul I saw. You kind of see him. He's, like, right here. Yeah. Well... Yeah. Well, anyways, so yeah, like I said, just pursue God, all right? Okay. But um, I guess God bless you. God bless you too, and I hope you're safe and everything. Yeah, God bless you. All right, have a good one. You too. Be safe. If you enjoyed this video, then smash that like button, leave a comment down below, and subscribe and follow for more videos like this.